Hey everyone, it's Yash and you are watching Purely Nomad. Today, my buddy and I are setting out on an exciting five-day journey from Dallas to the stunning mountains of Colorado. The goal? To experience the magic of fall in the Rockies, colorful leaves, crisp mountain air, and some of the best roads you can experience on two wheels. So let's get this adventure started. Day 1 was all about the miles, over 600 to be exact. We left Dallas early, ready to tackle a full day of riding. The first part was, well, pretty standard Texas highways, flat roads, open skies and lots of time to think. If you've ever driven through Texas, you know it can feel endless. But with good company and plenty of road to cover, we made the most of it. The ride was all about settling into the journey, sharing some laughs and keeping our eyes on the horizon. By mid-afternoon, we had crossed into New Mexico, and the timing couldn't have been better. The terrain was still mostly desert, but the rain started to come down just enough to cool us from all of that Texas heat. It was a welcome change, and to top it off, a rainbow appeared on the horizon. We had to pull over to take it in, a little unexpected magic in the middle of nowhere. The promise of better views kept us motivated. The landscape started to shift, still subtle, but there were hints of what lay ahead. And we knew the real magic would start once we hit Colorado. And finally, just as the sun began to dip, we crossed into Colorado. It was like flipping a switch. The landscape transformed and suddenly we were surrounded by rolling hills and distant mountain silhouettes. After a full day of riding, it felt like a reward. Colorado welcomed us by painting the sky with shades of pink and gold. It was one of those moments that make a long day on the bike totally worth it. At our third stop for the day after having covered 600 miles or so, we decided to push it for another hour and call it a night at Fort Garland, Colorado. We were happy that the boring paths were now behind us and excited to start exploring Colorado from the next day. We started day 2 by packing up our gear 
getting the bikes loaded and planning the route ahead. Today's journey was going to be something special. Our first full day exploring the Colorado mountains, with our first destination being the Great Sand Dunes National Park. After a quick ride, we arrived at the Great Sand Dunes National Park. But before entering, we decided to get some food and stopped at a restaurant right outside the park, realizing we were a little too early here. However, looking around gave us a sense of the grandeur of the sand dunes. We gazed at the dunes till the restaurant opened, had food and then set out to explore the park. These dunes are the tallest in North America and riding among sand was an adventure all on its own. We couldn't resist trying out a bit of sand riding. It was trickier than I expected. The sand was soft and loose making every move a challenge. But hey, that's part of the adventure. As we rode up to the base of the great sand dunes, the sheer size of the tallest dune hit us. It's like standing at the foot of a massive sand mountain. The golden sand seemed to stretch endlessly, with the peaks of the dunes blending into the horizon. We couldn't resist walking closer, even though our riding gear made hiking impossible. Standing there, looking up at this enormous dune, it's hard to believe that a place like this exists in the heart of Colorado. It was one of those moments that reminds you of how wild and diverse nature can be. A vast sea of sand with snow-capped peaks just visible in the distance. With our hearts filled with sand, 
it was now time to head deeper into Colorado. But before leaving the dunes, we took a moment to launch the drone. The footage really gives a sense of the vast open terrain around us. It's just miles and miles of untouched beauty. Let's take a look. As we headed deeper into Colorado, towards our next destination, we passed through a series of small towns, each one offering a unique glimpse of life in the Rockies. These places are like hidden gems, where you find friendly locals, cozy cafes and scenic streets surrounded by towering peaks. It felt like we were truly stepping into the heart of Colorado. Our next big destination was Independence Pass. The road started winding upwards and the higher we climbed, the more breathtaking the scenery became. Sharp turns, tall pines and a crisp chill in the air made for an unforgettable ride. We finally reached the summit where the views were nothing short of spectacular. We parked the bikes, took in the sights, snapped some photos and visited the overlook. Standing there, it felt like you were on top of the world with Colorado's rugged beauty stretching out in every direction.
Leaving Independence Pass, we started our descent into Aspen and the ride was nothing short of spectacular. As we wound our way down the mountain, the fall colors were in full display. Vibrant reds, oranges and yellows carpeting the mountainside. The road was lined with aspen trees, their golden leaves shimmering in the breeze and every turn revealing another breathtaking view. It felt like riding through a painting with the crisp mountain air adding to the experience. By the time we reached Aspen, we were ready for a break, so we stopped for a much needed lunch in town. It was the perfect spot to relax, refuel and soak in the small mountain town vibe. After the lunch, we hit the road again, but the weather turned quickly. Dark clouds rolled in and soon we were riding through steady rain. The downpour gave my GoPro troubles, so I couldn't capture much, which was a shame because the I-70 scenery was stunning. We arrived in Vail by evening, soaked but excited for what's next. The adventure is just beginning. Next episode, we'll explore deeper into the Rockies and more of those fall colors. As always, thank you for watching till here, and if you like the video, you know the drill. See you in the next one.